Hello, my name is Kevin and this is the Love Decanters channel. So today I'm going to show you some Rihimaki decanters. Uh, Rihimaki is a glass manufacturer from Finland um, and I only have three decanters. So um, yeah, this is going to be the longest uh, video I've done, um, but they are amongst my favourites. So um, yeah, I like all this really old stuff going back into the 18th century. But yeah, I do like a bit of um, modern cool glass as well. And uh, I think Rihimaki um, stuff that I have counts as that. They're all um, designed by Nanny Still. So um, yeah, I will um, get on and show you what I have. And I will also, yes, I will be using, um, just to show you the reference I'm going to use, I'm going to be using um, the Miller's 20th Century Glass Book by Andy McConnell um, to show you the, how I know what things are. And um, yeah, let's get on with the video. So the one I'm starting with is the oldest one I have, which is the um, SV um, decanter and glasses. Um, yeah, so this one, I'm wondering, because I think it's supposed to be like a still, and I'm wondering if that's not a play on Nanny Still's name. I don't know. But yeah, like a, when I say still, like for making spirits where you've got your your pot that you boil things in and it has a pipe that comes off the top like that. It might be. Um, how does it look? Stopper is kind of nicely polished and smooth all over. And um, the bottle has a polished pontal and, and it literally sits on the edge of the pontal. Yeah. And... Um, The glasses don't have a pond, they're just they're mold made made in a mold, so you can just see that yeah, they've just got a natural finish on the bottom. And these are the kind of things where you could be looking in piles of glasses and you'll see one this shape and it might be one of these. Um they do come in different colours. In the book the that I'm going to show you the one in there is lilac, but I think there are other colours too. I'm not sure what they all are. But yeah, that's the, the first decanter I'm going to show you before I go to the book reference. So um, here we are with the first one. Um, it's got a nice picture of Nanny Still here. And um, yeah, this one is a kind of lilac colour. Tells you it's 1954. And... Um, so I'm, I think there are other colours. I don't know what they are, but um, yeah, I'm certain there are other colours. And um, so that's that reference. Okay, here's the next one I'm showing you. This is um, called Flindari. It's from 1964. And it's kind of like moulded in a waffle kind of thing. And yeah, you can see the sides. Is, that's unmoulded. Also... It's um, made using the German half post method. I'll just show that in a second. I'll get the stopper out so I can show you. The, the stopper is um, rough, rough polished in, so that's not been at a final polish, but you can see how that is. It, it's quite heavy, even though it's blown. And then, yeah, so when I say the half post method, what I mean by that is. They've blown, partially blown the bottle and then they've dipped it back in the glass again and created it two layers and you can see where the second layer comes up to around the bottom of the neck. That's called the half post method. And also you can see it has a polished pontal here. The bottom's not polished, it's just flat. What was it? No, 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 it's not polished. But it's not been, um, when I say polished, it's been it's been left matte, the um, the pontal, so it has been cut out, and uh, yeah, it's got this waffle moulding. It's award winning. I'll tell you when I get the book out. I'll show you the the award that it won because it's such a mouthful. But yeah, it did win a design award in America, and um, yeah, no pontal on the glasses again. It's got you know this waffle. It's kind of something in the same way as it is on the glass where on the 
decanter. Yeah, this is quite cool. I like it. So that's the next one. So here we are with the next reference. Here it is. 1964. And um, the Flindari. It won the International Design Award of the Institute of of the American Institute of Interior Designers in 1965. And you can see mine's green, but it comes in blue. I've not seen any other colors apart from green and blue. Mine is this one here. It seems to imply that it comes in clear as well, looking at these. Um, yeah, and I think there might be other shapes um, other than these two. Um, and I'm just having to keep my eyes open because um, if I see any more glasses and bottles or anything, I'm going to snap them up. So this is the last one I'm going to show you. This is called the uh, Sultani. Um, it's considerably bigger than the, all, all the others. Um, let me just show you if I just shove one of these glasses back in. Yeah, you can see it's big. And... Um, Yeah, and so I'll show you what the stopper, the stopper is a hollow stopper. Right? And when I say hollow, it's not a bubble, it's actually, get your finger inside it. And it's rough ground. And underneath, we have a polished pontle mark. And, um, yeah, don't break it because it's so nice and yeah these are the glasses they're very they're kind of very space agey kind of thing little thick bases no no polished pontal at all it's molded um the rims look like they've been cut and, and then reheated to finish them so yeah these are sweet I do like this one a lot um, it is uranium glass and, and if I can get my um, UV light to work I will demonstrate that now here we go this is my I shine my UV light on it you can see there's plenty of um, uranium in there to make it fluoresce so yeah they are, it is uranium glass. It looks like uranium glass, and it actually is uranium glass. Here's the Sultani decanter. Obviously mine's a different color to this. I don't know what other colors it comes in. I think mine is cooler than the dark green one. Obviously though, a dark green one and the yellow one next to each other would look great if I could find one. Um, yeah, but this is, um, particularly cool. I think a lot of people were copying bottles with this kind of top at that time as well. So um, I think Dartington did almost immediately about this time as well. So anyway, so that's that one. So um, I hope you like those. I think they're really nice decanters. I, I love them. They're designed to so quirky. Um, I am really a, a tableware collector um, and I find it harder to find uh, the Rikimaki tableware. Um, vases though, I see loads of my travel, loads. And um, in fact, if you look at the video that I posted yesterday, because I do some out and about videos um, and the shop I was in had at least eight, I think, Rikimaki um, vases of the sort of like chimney types with the different shapes. Um, yeah, so they are out there. The, the, the vases are definitely all over and they must have been making a lot of those. But the tableware is much harder to find and, um, and the kind of prices that I'm able to pay is even harder to find. But um, yeah, I'm definitely keeping my eyes out for this stuff and um, it's just really hard to find. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, if you want to see more content like this, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.